Coming up on Network Africa, fire got the mosque in South Africa in a suspected arson attack. Zimbabwe's President Emerson Mangagwa warns that he will not tolerate anarchy ahead of the country's election. And the World Health Organization declares an end to the Ebola crisis in DR Congo. Welcome to the program. I'm Timmy Topwe Fagbimi. We begin today in South Africa where a fire broke out earlier this morning at a mosque in Durban in a suspected arson attack. The fire has been extinguished and the police explosives unit has arrived at the Masjid El Mukhtar Mosque in Crofton, declaring it a crime scene. Three men were reportedly seen jumping over a wall and fleeing after the attack. In May this year, at least one man was killed in a knife attack at the mosque in Verulam, a town about 30 kilometers north of Durban. In June, two men were killed also in a knife attack at a mosque near Cape Town. The motive for the attacks are unclear. Still in South Africa, President Cyril Ramaphosa says China has promised to invest $14.7 billion into the country's economy. After talks between the two leaders, President Xi Jinping also says China will take active measures to expand imports from South Africa to support development in Africa's most industrialized economy. Those commitments will help ease worries about the health of the South African economy, which has performed poorly despite investor optimism when President Ramaphosa replaced scandal plague Jacob Zuma in February. So let's get more on what's happening in South Africa from our Bureau Chief, Betsy Devia. Betsy, thanks for joining us on Network Africa. Thank you. Well, it seems attacks on mosques in South Africa are now on the rise. Do we know what could be responsible for this development? Well, at the moment, we don't even know if uh, the different attacks are related, if they're linked. Um, Confident incidents, which is very unlike the country uh, in recent times. In the case of Chatsworth, uh, we, we heard about the arson attack. One of the members of the mosque, the Masjid Al Mutama, uh, a Mutama mosque, uh, was talking about um, uh, uh, the morning prayer, after the morning prayer, being called back uh, to be told that uh, there was a, a fire. The police still investigating. The police says they're checking up whether there is uh, foul play because the fire was set to have started in a place where uh, cleaning um, material like detergents and the rest are being stored from the roof of that area before the pool. And then the, the, the people of the Moscow system, there was foul play, but the police system investigation, there was also a switch of the area to ensure there are no explosive devices uh, around there. So if indeed there was foul play in this attack, do we know any reason, or do we know what could have motivated this attack? Well, as I said, the police is not confirming it that if there was foul play, investigation is going on. There have been sort of mums, you know, uh, on this issue, the, the various issues. And some of these attacks, or some of the places where uh, um, uh, incendiary or combustible devices are in that Durban area recently, and not just mosques as well. So uh, it's taking them time to actually give a clear picture, the pattern of who is involved and, and the motive. So they can't really say at the moment, but um, a lot of uh, investigation is going on the ground. And they're not saying much, but people are worried. And some of the, the, the members of the Muslim community are looking at a case of religious intolerance, not just not from non-Muslims, but probably from fellow Muslims of different sects. So um, we're still waiting to see a definite, a definite motive from the authorities that would be able to say that. So while the police are investigating these latest attacks and the ones that have taken place earlier in the year, what efforts are they making in the meantime to secure places of worship and to stop these disturbing crimes from occurring again? Places of worship, some populated areas, some shopping places as well. We recall uh, recently um, 
in in a shopping in a particular uh, shopping brand uh, where some of these uh, explosive devices attached to a telephone were found uh, I think in two particular instances but we understand that uh, they they're, they're sweeping areas and um, improving um, uh, in, in intelligence collaboration between what they call the security cluster the the different security agencies collab sharing intelligence to ensure that um, things are, are nipped in the bud before they happen. I think that's the way they're taking it to ensure that it doesn't get to happen uh, instead of reacting to what is happening. So finally, better, let's talk about the Chinese president's visit to South Africa. How are ordinary citizens, business people, and the market reacting to the news that China will invest $14.7 billion into the South African economy? Well, it's easy to jump when you hear that amount of money, but um, South Africa seems to be serious about what it wants to do with their uh, uh, business friends. They, it, uh, um, but on the announcement of that amount uh, or, or, or the agreements that were signed yesterday, uh, we understand that the, the rand firmed up a bit against the dollar, going up to or, or strengthening to about uh, 13.25. Uh, uh, 13 rand 25 cents to the dollar. Um, a bit of uh, hope that uh, you can make it better. But um, you still have those who have doubts. You hear people saying, oh, China is taking over the country. But the president, uh, the president, has uh, areas where they expect the investments to go, the agriculture economy, um, uh, environment, finance, and agriculture as well. So. Um, China is, is insisting on collaboration, ways to develop their respective economies uh, beneficially to uh, both sides. And also investing in the people. There is talk, you know, the BRICS summit uh, has begun. Uh, the president of Brazil, or high-ranking official from Brazil, just touched down. And uh, the main event will be starting tomorrow. So the BRICS leaders, that's uh, Brazil, uh, Russia, India, China, uh, and South Africa, they're meeting here. Um, we expect a lot of, the, 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 the stress is on collaborating, more and more collaboration to fit in, you know, the fourth revolution, uh, fourth industrial revolution. So we expect um, economic, there, there is glimmer of hope, let me put it that way. People are expecting uh, development to come out from all these meetings. But the RAN firmed up a little bit yesterday on the announcement. People are hopeful that it will bring benefits directly to a South Africa Bureau Chief, Betty Dibia, thank you so much for joining us on the program.